I've always had an issue with jacking up my cars because they're so low. But look at that. This thing barely clears my side skirts by like, I don't know, millimeters. Um, it's, it's jacked up right now. So that's why it doesn't look that low, but my side skirt's actually pretty dang low. So if we go to the other side of the car, I'll show you that it's pretty low. So check this out. That's, that's basically right there, length of my finger, which is about 2.5 inches, maybe? So if you guys are looking for a jack stand, a jack stand, a jack that's super low profile, don't buy this one from Harbor Freight or from uh, different vendors. I know they rebrand this one for different vendors. They all look the same. There's just the aluminum racing jack that'll only last you like a year before it breaks. So I never trust this guy. This guy's just like my backup of a backup of a backup. But my main jack is this guy right here because it is insanely heavy. Now, this is not a joke. You can't, you can't just lug this jack around because it's, it's all steel. It literally weighs like a billion pounds. And uh, here's a serial number back here and model number. But if you just Amazon this brand and add low profile or low rider, it literally, it's, it's called a low rider jack. And it's insanely, insanely low, dude. Like, I can't get anything down here, ever. And it's long. So once I, I pull this thing out, you'll kind of get the grasp of how long this is. Look, look how long this thing is. So it, it, it's super low and it'll reach all the way in, like all the way in there, you know? And uh, it's like the best jack ever. So once, once I finish this oil change in my Cayman, I'll pull it out and I'll show you. And you'll never freaking buy or use a different jack ever again because this is the life hack of the century right here for us car people. Freaking awesome. All right, so I'm gonna finish my oil change here and then I'll be back and I'll show you this guy. So if I measure this jack, it's about 32 inches long and the engagement area under your car is probably about 19 inches. And check out how low this thing is. Dude, look at that. What, three inches on the highest side. And then over here is about two and three quarters. So it's insanely low, watch this. My car, is about, what is it, three inches? Three and a quarter from ground to arrow. And uh, I can slide this right under. Check this out. A little heavy, but there you go. I can slide the whole thing in there without interference. Pretty badass. And it has a, a long reach, so uh, if your jack point is super out there, you can you can get it, you know, you could, you could reach it. It's probably the best jack I have ever used. And it says it right there, low rider service jack, two ton. So it's, it's a pretty beefy jack for what we're doing with our uh, sport compact cars, but it is badass. And I always use a, uh, a puck on top of the, uh, the uh, lift point right here because uh, it's softer on your frame rails. So. Uh, you don't bend anything or whatnot. You could also use a two by four if you want to use that, but uh, this jack is so badass, dude. Look at the link below and uh, I'll link the Amazon page. I'm not paid for, for any of this, trust me. <laughs> I just love it so much, I want to share it with you guys. Here's a close up. I'm gonna take out the camera off the stand and look at that, dude. So awesome. It's a, it's a pretty beefy, beefy setup. There you go, that's where it should be right there. And look at that, low rider, service, two ton jack. And it's perfect for everything we do, uh, especially with lowered cars. All right, I'm gonna jack this up and show you how high this thing will lift. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> look at that. Dude, it's insane. Look at that. What the heck? Dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Look how high that thing lifts. It is insane. How low does this thing go? Two and three quarters, how high does it get? 24 inches, that is insane. 
you never have to go that, that high, but imagine if you're dropping a transmission or an engine, this helps a lot. So this is why this thing is my favorite jack. It's insanely awesome, dude. It's so strong too. It, it never gives me like this false sense of security because I have, uh, I have one of those Harbor Freight aluminum jacks and dude, I hate those things. But this one is freaking awesome.